welcome back to another great tutorial from videoschoolonline.com. This is Phil Ebener. Today we're talking about the shatter effect. One of the best effects from After Effects built into the software, but also somewhat confusing to new users. So let me just show you an example of what you can do with the shatter effect. <laughs> this is pretty simple. It took me like five minutes. I would add a lot more details, but basically a baseball shattering a window. You know, we have the baseball arriving, shattering going through, and you know, falling back behind the glass. And yeah, terrible, you know, Juju throwing a baseball through a stained glass window, but um, awesome in After Effects and a good example for this tutorial. So let's just go ahead and get started on a new composition. So I'm just gonna add a new composition, 1920 by 1080. Oops, I don't want that locked. I want this 1920 by 1080. I'm just gonna make this five seconds. That's really all I need. All right, so then I'm going to add this stained glass picture that I found online. So this is just for example. And then uh, you want to add shatter. So type in shatter over in your effects and presets search. It's under simulation and drag and drop it. Uh oh, what just happened? Your image just turned into a brick wall with some circles through it. Well, up here in the effects controls, you can see what happened. Under view, it changed to wireframe and forces. We want to change this to rendered, first of all. Well, this is the first thing you want to do. So as you scrub through this, you can see now how the shatter works. It basically pops out and shatters your image into a million different pieces. All this stuff you can edit. The size, the shape, the velocity, the gravity, all through these different things over here. So let's just go through that for this example. Under shape, you'll find the pattern, under pattern, all these different shapes. Obviously for glass, or a stained glass window, the shatter effect should look like glass. So if you change it, change it, is it, it changes into sort of triangular pieces. But I want to add a little bit more differentiation in, into these pieces. So first I'm going to increase repetitions to 20 so that there's more pieces. And then ex extrusion depth, this is how thick the pieces look. So it basically makes 3D pieces out of it. But glass is pretty thin so I'm going to change this to 0.01 maybe 0 0.02, let's try 0 0.02. And now the pieces are, you know, it still has 3D, a 3D effect to it, but it's not like a thick chunk of block. You can change the direction, you know, how, what direction you want it to fly out of and all that kind of stuff as well. And you can change the origin of this. If you click here and then move the spot, you can change it either from, you know, the center of this, picture or up or down or whatever. So now if you render it out by pressing zero on your number pad, you know, and it takes a little while to render out because it's a, it's a big uh, intensive, a RAM intensive effect. You can see how this flies out. One thing you'll notice though, see on the edge, these pieces stop at this line where this where this image is. And so the way to fix that, because that's not natural, these pieces wouldn't just like be cut off right here. They would fly off to the sides. The way to fix that is to pre-compose this image. So go ahead and right click and then go select pre-compose and then leave all attributes in comp one. That's our previous composition and select okay. So now inside this composition, if you double click it, you have this stained glass window. Then we want to increase the frame size of this composition. So press Command K to get your composition settings and just increase it, you know, maybe like double it, 2400 by 2400. So now you have this glass image, stained glass image in this composition, but it's not the whole composition. Go back to our comp one, 
and you'll notice now that the stained glass flies out of the image and it actually the entire stained glass breaks and shatters not just the center so we can fix that though and also because we pre-compose we're gonna have to increase the repetitions because now the repetitions are bigger alright so then you can go down to force you can change the radius of this so say you just want a small part of the stained glass window to break out decrease the radius to something like that now you have just the center breaking out or you can increase it and the whole thing can break like this okay there's other things you can change uh, under physics you can change the rotation speed of the pieces flying away so we can change this to 0.5 and have it rotate a lot faster we can increase the randomness so it's not just you know it, before it kind of looks like um, just like wow that's a perfect shatter let me drop the uh, quality to third and render it out see how this is, it just looks like perfect shatter from the middle boom okay so then you can change the randomness to something like 0.3 and it just increases the randomness of where these pieces fly um, we can decrease the strength if we want it to move a little bit slower up here under force one you can increase gravity if you want it to drop faster so if I move it up to 13.2 this is gonna really drop down fast but that might be a little bit more unique or more you know natural the last thing though is we want to change this so that it doesn't just start at the beginning of this composition so because we want to see the stained glass on there for a while and if we move it up you know it just starts as soon as the composition is on the screen so we're gonna right click and go up to time and enable time remapping and so this creates a keyframe for the start of this composition and the end of it if you see over here at the very end if we just move this up you know however far we want and then extend the start of this layer see now we have this we have our stained glass window in our composition you know for 15 frames you know a little less than a second and then it starts the shatter so that's how you have it played later on later in the composition so there's lots more and it really takes just playing around with the shatter effect to get the right sort of techniques and you know different gravities different strengths all that stuff it's all about playing around with it but you know the basics now so go out try it out create some awesome shattering you know videos and then send them to me so I can see your work if you have any questions please let me know Hit me up in the comments below, like this video, subscribe if you can, and uh, otherwise, just have a great day, and we'll see you soon.